This is The Collection. Now your host, The the Boat, Brad Gilmore. Growing Belushi Season 3 is out right now. We've talked to Jim Belushi before. One of my favorite interviews of all time. It was the first one I did during the pandemic, and he and I had a delightful conversation. And we do it again. We talk about Growing Belushi Season 3, all the pitfalls of being a cannabis farmer or a farmer in general. And we talk about one of my favorite movies that Jim Belushi was in, and he loves that I love this movie. Let's get to my interview with Jim Belushi. And he joins us right now. So excited to talk to him as always. Talking about Growing Belushi Season 3 on Discovery right now. The show's namesake is here, Jim Belushi. Jim, how are we doing? I'm doing pretty good right now, thank you. How are you doing today? Hey, I'm doing great. You know what? I, I want to talk. There's so much to talk about with Growing Belushi. Uh, season 3 out right now. Uh, you can watch it on Discovery. Um, you know, for people who don't know, this this show kind of came about because you bought a farm in Oregon. Dan Aykroyd says, maybe you should grow marijuana on it. You say, sounds like a great idea. You get involved in the industry. And now here we are in season three. I wanted to ask, what for you was the most important part of putting the show on television and documenting what you were doing? And has the show changed anybody's mind? about marijuana, about cannabis, who may have been on the other side of the fence and now is more open to it? You know, that's really a good question because the, the, the truth is it's been a journey. That's why it's called growing Belushi. It's not just growing cannabis. It's about me growing as a man alongside this wonderful plant medicine. It's really changed me and the way I look at things, and it's changed my physicality. I mean, I sleep better. I don't I don't even use, like, Ambien or Xanax or even Advil anymore. I just use a microdose a little bit, you know, take a little hit or a little piece of a gummy. Uh, so I just manage with it. I'm not like a stoner, by the way. You know, I'm just uh, not crazy, uh, you know, that way. Uh, but, but my main purpose of the show was to create confidence in cannabis. I think people that are interested and are starting to see results from people. I mean, everybody knows somebody who's struggling. And whether it's through chemotherapy or PTSD or anxiety, and they've seen them use cannabis and have results, and they're starting to be curious. I mean, you can see it. I mean, 37 states legalize cannabis, whether it's medical or recreational. And they want to explore it. So... My show is really about, it's very funny, first of all, but it's about showing you how it's grown, how to use it, how safe it is, the testing, the histories, and it's bringing people along with understanding like, oh, 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 this is not some drug guy standing on a corner selling pot. This is like, Almost medical grade. I mean, the FDA is looking at it. Uh, there's tons of research finally starting with cannabis and helping with the endocannabinoid system and creating a homeostasis in the body. It's it's really done some beautiful things for people, and so I'm trying to show that in growing ballistic. And I think that you do a good job of it. You know, here and it's funny. It's <laughs> it's really funny. I mean, my cousin and I are really funny in it. No, the show is great. I've watched the show since the first season and and really enjoyed it. And you're right, though. I think that the education of it is there in the show, and you kind of get to watch it as you kind of laugh through it all and through your pitfalls of being a farmer. Here's the thing. My wife and I bought a house about a year and a half ago after we got married, and we're in the gardening now. We're trying here, but I can't – I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm asking you, what are the biggest pitfalls? (laughs) That's what I'm asking you. You, I feel like a cross between Elmer Fudd and Bill Murray in Caddyshack. I mean, I didn't realize there's grasshoppers, aphids, rustic mites, deer come and eat this stuff. Of course they come eat this stuff. That's why they're so happy all the time, jumping around over fences. I got gophers. I'm like, I run around that property with like a shotgun, shooting them in the air to scare things away. I mean, I got hawks. I got... I, it, it, farming is a bit. It's it hard. Tough, it's yeah. science. It really is science. That's why I'm going to Lucy. I kind of feel the science behind it so people see how careful these grow. 
growers and how seriously they take growing this plant. What is though like you the know, one it, thing it, that you've it, taken? It, what is the one thing though that you've I guess learned the most that is the the um like wow I would have never thought about that going into this. This is the number one thing that really surprised you. Oh God, there's so many of them. I mean, uh, I mean the temperature of the soil. If it's 60 degrees, that allows the micronutrients in the soil to absorb into the roots that easier. There, there's the amount of humidity that that you know, there's mold, there's powdery mildew. There's so many things that you have to be careful about when you grow anything. And the main thing, the main thing, is what kind of nutrients you're using. And also the pesticides you use to protect the plants. I mean, there's a beautiful pesticide called neem, which was used in India for, you know, hundreds of years that a lot of growers use that's very organic and doesn't hurt the plant and doesn't transfer into the plant. Now, it doesn't really kill everything, but it helps protect things. The, new, the, the pesticides is the number one thing that you have to watch for, and the metals in the soil. Because people are ingesting this, and you want to make sure when they're ingesting something that is great for their body and, and their mind. So uh, the number one thing I learned is how do you do pest management uh, without using any kind of chemicals? And it's, it's you know you got to grow uh, side crops alongside that attract bees and the bees you know eat the mites and you know there's all kinds of stuff about but like you're gonna grow tomatoes you're you're gonna see a lot of a lot of things wanting to take your tomato before you do you know so what do you put on it and and there's a lot of nutrients out there that have you know, GMO effects, you know, you don't want any of that on your plant. No, and you know what? That's what we're trying to figure out. And that's what we're figuring out by watching Growing Belushi. You, we're, we're getting to the nitty gritty of how to be a farmer, and we're learning it from the great Jim Belushi season three airing right now on Discovery. I have to ask you this, uh, Jim, because during the pandemic, uh, you know, we're all in the house. We're trying to find stuff to watch. And my wife and I stumbled across a film that is now in our favorites and it's in our rotation. I've heard you say that The Godfather and Casino are movies that you go and you rewatch and rewatch. Well, I rewatch one of yours all the time, and it's the Eugene Levy directed Once Upon a Crime. And I, every time I tell people about this movie, everybody has seen that. that is a funny movie. It is so great. It is a murder mystery comedy crime caper that takes place in a casino and all abroad. I love the movie. Can you talk to me about what your memories are of it? And do you enjoy it as much as I do? My God, it was John Candy. Yeah. The original Joy Boy, man. I did five weeks in Monte Carlo and Rome with John Candy. I mean, there's that scene where we're running through the casino, we're betting and we're moving and we're betting and we're winning, and you see John and I throw up the chips and laugh. That was real. Andy had me laughing my ass off. He is, he was so fun. Oh my God, what a fun movie that was, man! I can't believe you saw that. Oh, it's so great. I mean, the cast is great too. You, Civil Shepherd. Uh... Richard Lewis is in it, John Candy. It's a great cast. It's a great movie. If no one's ever seen Once Upon a Crime before. Gene Carlo Zanini, he's the detective. I'd love to see where he goes, where were you the night uh, between last night between 12 and 12.30? And John Candy goes, oh, well, I was making passionate love to my wife. <laughs> uh, and... And uh, she was uh, going crazy, and uh, I could hear the neighbors scream, Hey, quiet down there. Don't you know it's between 12 and 12.30? <laughs> Great movie. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, it's so funny. There's so many good jokes in that movie. I love it. Once Upon a Crime is... It's, it's such a great movie and growing Belushi is such a great show. Season three right now in discovery, Jim, thanks so much for joining us this morning. And thanks for all the work that you're doing. Uh, thank you for your support, man. And I know Texas is going to come along 
with medical marijuana in, in the future. If not, you got Oklahoma, New Mexico. You got to just drive across the border. <laughs> well, there you go. Jim Volusia, everyone. Jim, thanks again. Oh, God bless you, man. Thank you.